she is your first home she is your first love she is your best companion and confidant at all times yes she is none other than your mother namaste i am vijaya lakshmi and i am today here to wish you all a very happy mothers day and share some valuable insights about the special day of the super women in everyone's life In a temple the space where god's idol is kept is known as garbha graha garbha means womb graha means space so in hindu tradition a temple is seen as a woman a mother the role of a mother in person life begins on the very first day when the fetus starts to grow in the womb she is undoubtedly the super power that charges up your life when you are feeling down the spark that lightens up your world and the soul force who wishes nothing but only the best for you she is a first teacher for she introduces you to your father and all kith and kin she is the one who teaches you the first words no wonder we call it as mother tongue it is our duty to make her feel special and celebrated every day however mother's day gives all of us a wonderful opportunity to repay our gratitude for her unconditional love towards us in vedic astrology mother is related to the moon and the moon in turn signifies emotions love compassion and mental strength when your relationship with your moon is strained it is believed to reflect as health problems and discomfort why because moon is manokaraga ruler of mind it will also affect your emotions and make you lose your mental strength which in turn will not allow you to become very successful in all the endeavors you do on this special day make her feel celebrated have a heartwarming talk with her even if she is away from you you can give a call if you have hurt her in the past for any reason whatsoever seek forgiveness if she is upset with you for anything else listen to her and reassure that you are there by her side always as she was with you at all times a simple gesture like small surprise gift to her or cooking her favorite recipe can cheer her up many of you will be mother yourself take this day to bless your children and forgive them for all their tantrums life of the child starts from the womb there are various mythological story which describes about it let me share a short story in this regard in mahabharat there was a great warrior called abhimanyu son of arjuna and subhadra When he was still in the womb, Subhadra's uh, womb, Arjuna was narrating about the art of breaking chakra vyuha to his uh, wife Subhadra. Chakra vyuha is an arrangement of soldiers that keeps moving like a wheel. You no, know, it's a type of attack in the war. Subhadra fell asleep, so Arjuna did not continue his narration or the technique how to come out or escape from chakra vyuha. In Guru Kshetra war. Abhimanyu was able to enter the chakra view but got stuck because he did not learn how to escape from it this story emphasizes that womb of a mother is very important place for the child the thoughts and emotions of the mother will affect or nourish the child accordingly you may have had lot of emotions and bad experiences while you were carrying your child these thoughts and emotions could affect their life take this day as a good opportunity to bless and pray for your children's well being and for their success however not all of us would have our mother to talk or wish in person for those of you whose mothers have departed to heaven you can always pray to the divine for the peace and moksha of your guardian angel mother's day is celebrated internationally on second sunday of every may 
So on this special day, pay tribute to that superwoman who has always believed in you and worked magic in your life with her never-ending love, compassion and protection. I wish you all a very happy and a loving Mother's Day. Namaste.